Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. new here my name is Lisa and today we are back with another monthly favorites video so this month it is for the month of October I know it's already kind of like mid-November slash end of November but I wanted to still do this because I was in such a big rush trying to get out all the Majuri content for you for Black Friday so if you haven't checked out those videos make sure you check out Majuri's part four and also my entire Majuri Black Friday guide and make sure you shop the biggest sale of the year starting with the video we have our usual categories of jewelry makeup, skincare. We also have a few miscellaneous things that I'm really excited to show you guys and talk about today. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so starting with jewelry, if you guys have already seen my Majuri videos, then these products are not gonna be new to you at all, but these are the ones that Majuri had pre-sent me before their Black Friday in preparation for their Black Friday. So the first one is the Soft Charlotte Ring. This is what it looks like right here. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for my seasonal eczema. I've been trying to more moisturize like crazy. If you have a good like hand cream that is eczema friendly, please let me know. I always just get it in the winter. But anyway, back to the jewelry. This is the first ring that I got. This is the soft Charlotte ring and this one has diamonds in it. So I already have the regular Charlotte ring, but this one is part of their new collection and they incorporated the diamonds. The next ring is also part of their new collection and it is I believe called the caviar something ring. It is this middle ring right here. It is so gorgeous. I've stacked it with the beaded ring, which is usually on my thumb. And I also stacked it with the stacker. I feel like this stack is just so beautiful. There's diamonds all around. It's not just at the top. For the baguette ring, you guys know I love. It doesn't go all around. It's just on the top here, but this one actually does go all around, which is why it's reflected in the price point. But I just absolutely love these rings. They're just so classy and just makes everything look so expensive. The next one are these earrings that I got from Majuri as well. This is with their Sarah Harris collaboration. And honestly, I already said this in the other videos. I really, really recommend going to get them now because my chain hoops is also a collaboration with her. They're completely discontinued now, just like how these ones are gonna be discontinued very soon. So make sure if you're thinking about getting them, you should get them now. Another thing that I like about these earrings is that you can actually remove the bottom part and just wear the top part. So I like how a lot of her collaborations are very versatile just very like you can style them in different ways you can wear them in different ways so you're really getting like multiple earrings I feel like so I just really like that and make sure you check it out before it's too late the next two items that I got from a jury are these two necklaces here this one I got the baguette necklace this one is basically like the baguette ring but because I loved it so much as you guys know I decided to get the baguette necklace as well the choker here I actually forgot the name so I'm just gonna leave it on the side but I was saying how it looks like liquid gold and it just looks so 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 good it looks like it melted on my neck like this there are two different lengths and the length that I have here is the shorter length if you want something longer then you can go with the longer length but if you like the length that you're seeing on me right now that would be the shorter one okay I actually have another jewelry brand to also talk about and this one is so nostalgic and just so interesting because when I was in Europe, if you guys haven't seen my Ibiza vlog, make sure you go check that out. But when I was there, I met these three lovely, lovely British girls. I honestly think we're gonna be lifelong friends. Anyway, one of the girls was actually telling me about this brand called Monica Venander. Basically, I've never heard of the brand, but after she told me about it, I started looking into the products and coincidentally, I don't know if I manifested this, but coincidentally, their team actually sent me a message asking if I wanted to try their products. So I was like, honestly, Honestly, why not? Obviously, I love trying on new jewelry items. What I find is that this brand is a lot more statement-y than kind of like fine jewelry. It actually has more statement products. The three items that I got from them is this necklace right here. It's a statement pearl necklace. I'm just gonna pull it up so you guys can see. Usually I would wear a different top with this, but I also wanted to show you guys my new Everlane sweater. So that was kind of like a debate I had to make. But anyway, usually I would wear it with something like crew neck or maybe like a turtleneck or something. And this one can hang and it would just be like such a nice statement piece, but it's just such a nice pearl to go with. I don't know, just like 
chunky sweaters, like anything like that. So I really like this necklace. I also got these earrings. These ones I've never seen before. I really like the design. The little circle at the top is kind of like a teardrop and then there is a pearl that comes under. So I thought this was really pretty and just like a really good holiday piece for all the classy Christmas parties that are coming up, I hope. And then the last item that I got is actually this bracelet here. These are all gold vermé, by the way, so you do have to take these off. But this bracelet right here, I actually got it engraved with my grandmother's name on it. So I thought that was really, really nice. And you guys know I don't really like to wear bracelets unless if it's solid gold or it's easy to take off. And I really, really like this design here because I'm not struggling with my nails trying to clip it on. It's very easy to just like pull it open and kind of like tighten it. So I really like that. There was another brand, Links of London RIP, because I think they're out of business. They also had a bracelet that you just kind of like slide in, it kind of expands but that's pretty much like the only type of bracelets I will wear that isn't solid gold because I just I cannot with the class if I have the class I'm not getting it if it's not solid gold so I wanted to talk about the discount with Majuri as usual if the Black Friday sale is over as you guys are watching this because I actually might be in Cabo by the time you're watching this but if you're watching this and the sale is over you will still get the 10% off as usual with my discount Monica V you will be able to get 20% off even if they're Black Friday sale is over as well using my links below so make sure you take advantage of those so on to the next category we have a few skin tools so I wanted to talk about this because you guys know how much I love my Foreo I've talked about this I, I swear like a year ago I got it from skinstore.com recently I picked up two more Foreo products also from skinstore.com and one of them is a toothbrush which I thought was really interesting and the second one is pretty much exactly Exactly the same product but in a mini version I haven't even opened it but the reason why I got this is because I'm gonna be traveling as you guys know when I was in Europe I had brought my Foreo along and I felt like this one was so big I hated bringing this size so I wanted to get the mini version because I'm about to go traveling to Cabo as I mentioned and based on my travels last time I just had experience bringing the big one and I really really didn't like it it took up so much space but I really needed my Foreo so I decided to opt for the small one this time for traveling so I'm very excited because I won't have that problem anymore but I want to mostly talk about this toothbrush because I'm sure you guys know how much I love my Foreo mini or not mini so just no need to talk about that again but mostly I wanted to talk about the toothbrush because I'm really into the whole reusable thing as you guys may be able to tell so this is actually a removable brush head sorry I feel so weird kind of like showing you guys my toothbrush up close okay I guess all electric toothbrushes are reusable but this one is way more reusable because it uses medical grade silicone so this one can actually last up to six months before you need to change the brush head I also really really like how it's kind of the same concept as the Foreo I'm not going to turn it on because if you own a Foreo, you know that once you turn it on, you have to just like let it be. Basically, once you turn it on, it sort of functions the same as a Foreo on the face, but the silicone um, brush is actually a little bit longer. I actually watched some reviews on this toothbrush before I got it. The basic um, testimony that I got and also my own testimony is that you feel the same amount of clean as you do with like any other toothbrush or any other like electric toothbrush. The only thing that is interesting is that the feeling is really different so it's like the result feels the same but the feeling is completely different so it is obviously a little bit more expensive because you're replacing the brush heads a lot less and the battery life is absolutely insane the Foreo if you guys haven't owned one before one of my biggest pleasant surprises from this brand is just how long the battery lasts so I was in Europe for one month I used my Foreo day and night and I literally did not have to charge it one time I'm like, I don't understand. Like, can phones be like this? And it lasts so long when you're brushing. It literally goes on forever. With the toothbrush, it actually goes on for three minutes. The toothbrush battery is also very, very long lasting. So I actually have an electric toothbrush and that one actually runs out of battery super quick. If I go traveling, even for a week or something, like I do not feel confident not bringing my charger. So this one, I actually will feel confident not having to bring my charger, if especially when I'm going to Cabo. So I just really, really like this. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like 
you guys should give it a try, especially if you haven't tried out an electric toothbrush, you might as well try something like this where you don't have to change it as much. Anyway, I also wanted to mention my collaboration with Skin Store. So they did give me these products. You can grab 25% off the entire store. So make sure you use my link down below and the code down below and you guys can get 25%. You can also get 25% not on just these products, but on the entire store. There are exclusions though. So there are some brands that are not part of the 25%, but I will also leave the exclusions down below so you can check out what is and is not included. The next three products I wanted to talk about is actually by SkinCeuticals. This is my first time trying this brand. I've never tried SkinCeuticals before, but I've heard so many great things. So I tried some of their essential items. The first one is their vitamin C serum, and it is this one right here. So this product I use every morning just right after my toner and right before my moisturizer. The second product that I use is their retinol and this is what their retinol looks like. Lastly, I also am trying their sunscreen and this one is their tinted sunscreen. So this is what it looks like. Overall, I just have a really, really good experience with this brand. I think that they honestly live up to all the hype. So the vitamin C serum is very concentrated. I love it for vitamin C. I use it every morning. It's what makes your face really bright looking any vitamin C serum honestly that's the purpose and I just really like this because I think it's also for all skin types like if you have sensitive skin acne prone skin I feel like skin SkinCeuticals definitely keeps that in mind and everything is just super well like formulated for all types of skin so you don't have to worry if you are a little bit more sensitive the retinol I really also like how they package the retinol because as you guys know retinol is a pretty concentrated product and because the head of the product is so thin it allows you to put on exactly just how much you need without putting on too much and also just a reminder if you guys are using retinol to use it on dry skin either you do it after you wash your face and let it dry a little bit or what I've been doing um, hopefully this is correct is I actually put on toner and then I let that dry and then I put it on because the minute you put on retinol with your damp skin that's when the retinol really really absorbs and that might cause a harsher kind of like chemical feeling or like a chemical burny feeling so that's just kind of the tip that I learned recently that I wanted to share with you of course the sunscreen like I just really really like tinted sunscreen especially if you are not wearing makeup that day tinted sunscreen is just super useful and I also like how this sunscreen doesn't become flaky because I actually did try a sunscreen back in the day where it like becomes very flaky after you put on you know your makeup or foundation or whatever afterwards so that was super unpleasant but this one does not do that okay so on to the next set of products I also want to talk about Necessaire so I've been seeing this brand for over a year on Instagram on YouTube just pretty much everywhere I feel like they have really really gained popularity because of their packaging also obviously the products themselves but I think one of the biggest things is kind of their packaging it kind of reminds me of Aesop just how people are super obsessed with their packaging so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm just gonna show you right here so Necessaire is a body care brand and and what I really like about their entire basically like philosophy is they only use ingredients that you need for your body. So they don't do any unnecessary chemicals and stuff like that or harsh chemicals and anything that's bad for your body. So this one is their body wash. This is their body exfoliator. Lastly, this is their body lotion. I mentioned this in a previous video already, but I kind of had a little revelation where I'm like, if I take care of my face skin so well, why do I not put nearly as much attention to my body skin, which is still skin at the end of the day it is still the biggest organ of your entire body so I was kind of like yeah I don't know why I never really cared too much about like what I was putting on my body I recently tried the verb body care line and that one was really good they also use very minimal non-toxic chemicals and stuff like that and same with necessaire I am now trying to take a little bit more care of my own body skin does that make sense I feel like I just focused so much attention on my face that I kind of forgot about my body. That was pretty much the body care portion. The next item that I wanted to talk about is actually the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief 
and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. Really, I treat it as a toner. And this is not the head that it comes with. I actually used a Dermalogica toner head. I finished the Dermalogica toner, but I replaced it with this head so I can spray it on my face. This one is super, super, super gentle on your skin. And I feel like if you have eczema like I do, this is gonna be really, really good for your skin, especially in the winter and you're just trying to kind of like calm down your skin. I also got so many DMs when I posted this on my stories saying like, I'm gonna try this toner now. And everyone was like, this is such a great toner. It's so calming, it's so soothing, etc." So at the time when I was receiving these messages, I couldn't attest to it yet because I hadn't tried it. But after using it, I completely agree. This is very, very gentle. So if you guys have like, more sensitive skin if you have eczema like me or if you're just you know trying to kind of like calm down your skin from maybe like stressing it out a lot from makeup or like whatever it is then definitely give this toner a try the next product is also something that is also very much for stress skin trying to calm it down trying to soothe it you can see the theme here because i feel like i've been really stressed out this past month and my skin has reflected that so the next item i wanted to talk about is the kate somerville cream and this is what it looks like and you can see that i've really really used this cream like I've actually used this for two months and I forgot to review it last month so I'm like okay well I have to review it this time the ratings online are amazing and also this is once again for very stressed skin skin that just needs to calm down very irritated so once again if you have eczema if your skin is feeling inflamed this is gonna be really good I think also this video is coming out a good time because winter is coming okay winter is coming and we all need basically the products to help calm ourselves down that is pretty much the last skincare product the last two things I wanted to talk about if you guys follow me on Instagram and watch my stories you will know that every day on the weekdays I've actually been very very good for three weeks now three consecutive weeks I've been going to sweat and tonic every single morning if you guys are not from the Toronto area sweat and tonic is pretty much a luxury gym that is located in Toronto and Toronto only so far there's only one location I just absolutely love this gym it is my first first luxury gym experience. I honestly see why there is such thing as like a luxury gym. The entire space is like decorated in gold hardware, very much like my house. All the handles are gold, everything, the faucets and everything. It's just so nice. There's so many different classes. There's a cycle, there's hit, there's yoga and all different types of hit, all different types of yoga. I've had a really good experience lately. That's why I've been going every single day. And if I want something that's really intense, I can go to hit or spin. And then if I want something super relaxing and more like, you know, like meditation-y, I will go to like some yin yoga and stuff like that they gave me a free membership to try out and I've been honestly loving it like I've been milking this membership like no tomorrow like I've been going every day I'm probably the only influencer that goes this often but anyway if you are interested in trying out a sweat and tonic class you can also click the link below to get yourself a free class there are conditions you have to be a new member and you also have to first pay for a class or a credit or anything you just have to purchase something that is class related show up to the class and you will see a free class in your account. Make sure you give that a try. The last thing I wanted to talk about because I've been working out for once this often, I wanted to share my two favorite workout products and they're both by Lululemon. Very on brand since it's a Vancouver brand and I'm from Vancouver. So obviously the first one is the Align Leggings. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're just like, yeah, we know because it's not a new product at all. In case you are also not someone who works out, then this message is for you. The Align Leggings are so nice. It's so buttery. I'm a size four and because I'm very short, I believe I have the 25 length one, but I just love these leggings, workout or not. I actually had them from before I worked out, but now I actually use them for, I feel like, what it's actually intended for um anyway the next one is this bra right here i believe it's called the energy flow long bra anyway whatever i will leave this name but this is what it looks like and the reason why i like this one is because this one comes in a long version so the long version actually has just like a thicker band here and i feel like this is for all the girls if you are like me i'm kind of like 
at the gym like I don't really like to show my body that much at least not yet anyway so I don't really like to show my body that much and I just feel like any traditional sports bra it just covers your boob which I do have and I do wear them but I definitely feel way more confident when I have this one because it just covers up a little bit more when I wear this and my leggings if you guys are kind of on the same boat as me and just you know want to feel a little bit more confident I just really like the length of this one in particular I thought that the back was also super cute and obviously pink is my favorite color as you can tell from my sweater so that is kind of the bra that I've been wearing to go to the gym lastly because I feel like I always forget to tell you guys what I'm wearing like I said this sweater is from Everlane and it's so cozy I just absolutely love it I love the design of this sweater and also the lip color that I'm wearing today is the same one I've been wearing the last video as well it's called glowing Jen and it's by Charlotte Tilbury hot lips too so I will have everything linked down below but that's pretty much the video for today thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!